the national debt is climbing by the second. We want to show you a live look at the national debt clock. And we've got it. House Speaker John Boehner and his soon-to-be Republican counterpart in the Senate, Mitch McConnell, say that they will work to reduce the national debt. Uh, that debt recently passed the $18 trillion mark. Christine Frizzell shows us what that looks like. $18.7 trillion is so ginormous, it's like looking into deep space. There's no end in sight. I can't picture it. Think of it like a meteor weighing more than 18 tons, the actual weight of $18 trillion. Consider this. We could stand on a street corner handing out dollar bills Thank every you. second of Thank every you. day, and it would still take about 558,000 years to pay off that $18 trillion. And that doesn't take into account interest. Every year, taxpayers have to pay $300 billion in interest payments just to service the debt. The Congressional Budget Office estimates interest payments will cost taxpayers almost $650 billion by 2020. That's on pace to grow larger than the Defense Department's annual budget. Oh my God. Even if America's entire workforce, all 145 plus million of us, pooled our earnings for an entire year, we could still not pay off the debt. The national debt is bigger than what the entire U.S. economy produces in a given year. Romina Boca studies federal budgets, and as she puts it, it's a financial ticking time bomb. Innovative math professor Gail Kaplan had us visualize the 110 million people that watched this year's Super Bowl. If you gave each of them a Ferrari that sold for over $150,000, we would get close to 18 trillion. Another way to picture it, according to some mathematicians, stack up those 18 trillion $1 bills and it would take us from the Earth to the moon about five times. I'm Christine Frizzell reporting.